Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to solve math problems by using a four-step plan. The four steps are understand, plan, solve, and check. Understand the problem. To understand the problem, we are going to use cube. And what is cube? Circle the numbers, underline important information, box the questions, and eliminate extra information. We can also use a math keyword chart, and this chart can help me to identify if my problem has any of these words that can help me to decide if I need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide the numbers. So let's take a look at this example. Understand, Lisa has 23 apples. She gave 17 apples to her brother. How many apples does she have left? Circle the numbers. We are going to circle 23 and 17. We are going to underline important information left why left because left is a keyword if i take a look at this chart i can see that left is right here so this means i have to subtract the numbers okay so um the next step is to box the question we are going to box how many apples does she have left and we are going to eliminate extra information i don't have extra information in this problem so i don't have to eliminate anything and i can go to the next step plan so we already decided that left is a keyword and this keyword is telling me that I need to subtract the numbers to find the answer so um, I am going to use a subtraction and then I am going to solve my problem I have to show the work I'm doing so I am going to write an equation to solve this problem I have to subtract because we already saw here that I have to subtract. So I'm going to subtract 23 minus 17 and that is equal to 6. So now I have my answer. The final step is to check. You can use inverse operations to check if your answer is correct. Since we are subtracting on this problem, I am going to add to check if my answer is correct. So I am going to add 17 plus 6 and that is equal to 23 so this means my answer is correct and finally I have to write my answer as a statement she has six apples left I have to make sure that my answer makes sense that it is a logical answer and that it is actually um, answering to the question so the question was how many apples does she have left? And my answer is she has six apples left.